street in Maxborough and guarded the small bungalow home where the body of mechanic Leon Leslie had been discovered just after 4.30 that evening. Because of the state of decomposition, he would be left to lie where he died until the medical examiner could be summoned to the site. His two sons came home from school and found him um, dead inside the house, no? Uh, but I know, based on, based on what, um, the time of death couldn't have been Saturday, it would have had to be early Sunday morning. Because uh, until after 10 Saturday night, he was at our home having um, food with his mom. So I know it had to have been um, any time after 11 there about, but they didn't discover his body until late this evening. Okay, on Monday, the 13th of April, 2015, around 5.09 p.m., police responded to a report of a body that was found at Maxboro. Uh, police proceeded to the area where upon arrival, they found the lifeless body of Leon Leslie, Cena, 31 years. Inside the residence, seated a uh, in a seated position on a sofa, apparently dead, and the body was uh, partly decomposed. He had a stabung to the chest and neck area. Just after 6 this morning, police, along with forensic examiner Dr. Mario Estradabrand, were again at the scene of the murder. Following a brief examination, the body of Leslie was placed on a piece of plywood, removed from the home, and taken to an undisclosed site. Police would not offer further information on what they found inside, except to say that there was no sign of forced entry. We were told, though, that Leslie's throat was cut almost completely through, and he was found nude, with his pants thrown across his face. So who would visit such a vicious death on Leslie? Well, our investigation so far is revealing that uh, some persons of questionable character were hanging out with him at that house uh, prior to when he was found, and that is all information that we have. We are trying to find some persons of interest that could assist in this investigation. I just tell the police the, um, what I know who he may hang out with basically, the type of company um, he was with, no? Other than that, um, there are some issues in terms of um, a vehicle that he was working on and so on. He's an excellent mechanic, that's for sure. Right, um, like I said, uh, he's pretty much friendly. Like I say he messed with sometimes the wrong type of crowd, and I think that's what led to his demise, no? Type of people he hang out with sometimes. Uh, like I said, nowadays in this country, you know, so much what you do. Uh, if they see me, they hang out with Peter Jane and Paul, and they out of Peter Jane and Paul, then they figure out one of them, so then they come out of me too. That's the reality in this country. Police say that Leslie was no stranger to them since in the past they had conducted searches at his home. He lived alone with his two sons who had spent the Easter holidays with an aunt and arrived home after two weeks to make the grisly discovery. Mike Rodon for News 5.